All right, what is going on Dream Crew family? I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Another day in the house, but it's all good because we are bringing you guys a new video that I am very, very excited about. Now I said this in a previous video and I honestly think it is the perfect time right now to pick up some new hobbies. We're all sitting at home, we're all trying to figure out what to do with this spare time. I have friends who just don't know what to do other than watch Netflix and chill. So why not find something to do that could be a new hobby and possibly even be a new source of income. So I was thinking to myself, what is something that I've always wanted to do that I could, you know, start working on while I'm just sitting here at home? And then I realized that this is the perfect time to try to make my first ever custom sneaker. Now I've been on record to say that I've never really been into customs, but I've always kind of been into drawing and art. Never like hardcore to the point where I'm like, you know, buying canvases and painting and things like that. I just always like to draw on my notebooks. It's only gonna take a few things that I really need to make it happen. Thank God for Amazon right now because it literally saved my life. First thing off, we needed the paint tape. This is gonna help me keep my paint in certain areas. I got a pencil so that I can, you know, sketch out something on the shoe before I finally paint it. And then the most important thing is the markers. I, I chose to go with markers over like paint itself because I'm more of a drawer rather than like some someone who could paint something. Like, I don't know, I just thought this was perfect for me. Now, this is the medium head. This was something that was kind of confusing. I could not find this information anywhere. So I had to do a lot of research, different versions of this pen. These are the medium pens, and then these are the fine point pens. Again, this is my first custom, so I don't know the everything. Maybe I'm doing this completely wrong. Maybe I'm doing it correct. I don't know. It's all about trial and error. Now, besides this stuff, which is very important, we need a shoe. We need our blank canvas. And I knew there was one shoe that I wanted to do, so, I bought them. Damn it, sold out. Let me try this. Hey, I got it. Air Force Ones. The Air Force One, I feel like, is the best shoe to customize. Obviously, me being the hype beast that I am, we gotta do the version with the Supreme logo on it. Like, literally, it's just a regular Air Force One and it just has the Supreme pressed on. Ugh, they smell so good. I can't remember the last time I bought just a crispy pair of all white Air Force Ones. So yeah, we're gonna be customizing this shoe right here. Now I'm not gonna go too crazy with these. I want them to be super wearable. Like I don't wanna just make them a million different colors. I'm gonna kinda stick with the black, red, and white Supreme vibes. The most important thing when doing a custom sneaker, I feel like is practice. And I did practice on a few shoes before I do this one. Let me, let me, where are they at? I like the way this came out. It's gonna look better on an Air Force One, I think, because there's more room to work with. I also did this on the toe. I feel like this came out super dope. I did like a paint dripping, but I kind of went for like an elephant print vibe. So yeah, so I tested out different techniques. I figured out which colorways I want to use and stuff like that. <sighs> you know what? Let's just get it started. Here it goes, my first custom sneaker. I'm nervous. Mid custom update. So I got both of my swooshes on the outside red and both of my swooshes on the inside gray. I don't know why, but one of them came out a lot 
darker but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do another layer on each of them because there is a little bit of flaws you can see on the gray one here there's a lot of like spots where it's darker honestly the drip looks sick like even if i just ended right here and i just did this as my custom that would still look dope now as far as the blue tape goes i only put blue tape on one which was the one i was filming i feel like i'm comfortable enough to where i don't need to put the blue tape just be careful especially if it's your first custom but i'm definitely gonna get rid of the blue tape now because i feel like i do not need it yeah so we're gonna do the second layer right now and then we'll start getting into the details and the outline and then also i'm trying to figure out do i want to do anything on the toe box my only concern is that this is gonna crease when i wear it so do i want to paint it and have it crack i might leave the toe empty but i haven't decided yet all right so now let's see how this looks with one more layer on it and it definitely looks better with a second layer. So the first half of the custom took me about an hour and a half to two hours. I know it didn't seem like much, but honestly, I took my time with it. Before I move forward, I need a little bit of a break. So let's take a break and then we'll come back. <laughs> Alright guys, the hardest part was putting on the cement print. Now it's really hard. I tried to mimic the Jordan 3 cement print, but it's just really hard to get that exact print on there. I tried my best. A very quick comparison. It's going to be impossible to get it perfect. Maybe if I do it like a million times, I'll get it right, but it's not bad. Again, there is going to be trial and error. There's going to be things that you don't love 100%, and I don't 100% love that swoosh on the inside, but it's, it actually looks better on camera. The outside is the hitter. Now we just got to outline the drip red add a little bit of details to it and then we're almost done so yeah i'm excited to see the final product i honestly think it came out very very dope i did make one mistake again obviously there's gonna be little mistakes not too noticeable try a crep wipe that might work yeah, it did All right, it actually work. Now also with the camera angles and whatnot, if I'm like covering the camera, trying to get my and my hands in the way and whatnot, and I'm not giving the perfect shot to show you how I'm doing things, I apologize guys. This is my first time filming a custom, so kind of hard for me, I'm not an expert. I'm doing my best. All right, let's finish this thing off. We are gonna do the black lining on the red. hundred percent complete my first official custom is done and I love the way that they turned out I cannot wait to finally wear these out obviously I'm not gonna be able to wear them out right now probably just wear them in the living room I feel like they came out perfect I visioned it I made it happen and I love them I got the supreme laces on one pair and I got the white laces on the other pair let me know which one you guys think looks better I think I'm gonna keep it without the supreme laces because I feel like that's just doing way too much I I love the way it came out even the cement print like it's not my favorite i didn't do the best but it's still a cool little twist like all red on the inside kind of paying homage to the supreme dunks from back in the day so guys my main thing with this whole video and doing this custom isn't just for me to isn't just to do a custom i wanted to inspire some of you guys to not just waste your time sitting at home right now find certain hobbies and things you could do to help pass the time or to help possibly bring some income your way you could sell custom sneakers or if you want to get into reselling start reselling or you know there's still online drops happening so there's places for you to buy these hype sneakers and stuff like that and although people say oh the market's going to be down because of this craziness i haven't seen a change just yet so you could still kind of resell and do things like that and if you're not looking for a way to make income if you're just looking for something to do you know 
this was this was perfect for me making a custom sneaker. It might not be perfect for you, but there's other things in the same field, whether it's painting on a canvas or painting a shoe or making like tie dye clothing. Like there's so many things out there. So I really want you guys to sit down, maybe take a pen and paper, write down different things that you would love to do over the next few days, weeks maybe even months, we don't know how long this thing is lasting, but I love them, man. I sent pictures to my friends. Mina thinks they came out dope, so maybe my next custom will be one for Mina. Maybe I'll make her a pair of Air Force Ones like this. Maybe I'll make a pair and give it away. I don't know yet, but this is definitely not gonna be my last custom. This is just the start. What do you guys think of my custom? Rate it one through 10 in the comment section down below. Like I've been saying every video, I'm trying to put as much content out there for you guys because it is a tough time. If I could put out entertainment, for you guys. I'm going to continue to do it and hopefully I can bring some positive vibes your way. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Dream crew, dream crew, dream crew. Yeah. They just want to do it how we do. Yeah. Living my life like the Beatles. Ooh. I just pulled up with some lethal. Ooh. They getting mad and deceitful. Yeah. I make it hard to be peaceful. Yeah. They tell me I got an ego, but I'm putting up for my people.